What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and it's one that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I have like a list of ideas on my phone of videos that I want to make at some point in the future and uh, this is one that's been on there for a while and it's the top 5 worst people in your DMs. Now this is coming from a YouTuber's perspective, I'm sure that if I were a woman uh, on Twitter, I would probably get a lot worse DMs than this, but I'm just talking about the most annoying people in the DMs. You know, I'm sure there's always those one-off rude people or, you know, those guys that try and slide in the DMs and head on you like they're all smooth and stuff. Uh, but these are the top five most annoying things that I run into like almost every day. I run into at least one of these types of people every single day on Twitter and it's just so annoying. And I wanted to, you know, make this list for you guys and see if you guys have run into any of these people because for me it's just I hate finding people like this sending me DMs like this and it's just it's so annoying so without further ado let's get right into the list the first one that I want to mention is the guy on Twitter who's all about the numbers so his DM you know as soon as you get the DM the, the whole DM is basically like you know, uh, follow for follow. If you're active, I'm active. If you turn notifications on and show proof, I'll turn yours on as well. If you like spam me, I'll like spam you back. Retweet my pin tweet. Like, I can't believe these DMs. Like, like I'm like I'm gonna follow you and be like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna turn on this random dude's notifications. Yeah, he only has like 69 followers, but it's fine, whatever. Yeah, I'll just turn on his notifications so that way every time he retweets some stupid meme pages uh, thing that's been posted three months ago, I'll get notified. Yeah, that would be really sick. I'm definitely gonna turn on notifications. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'll go through and I'll like 15 of your of your tweets because they're just absolute gold mines. So yeah, that'd be awesome if you could do that back for me. And uh, yeah, so just like that's not how Twitter works like you can't ask somebody to be active that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life and I've talked about this before in my uh, Twitter YouTube marketing video um, and it's just oh my god I, I can't believe how many people ask me to be active like are you serious like I followed you post funny tweets or post awesome tweets or cool tweets or whatever and I'll I'll like those things like that's how you get me to be active is by you being good at what you're supposedly supposed to be doing like that's the whole point of a social media account is if you're if you post interesting content i'm gonna like it you know uh, i'm not gonna just be active like as a fucking hobby like that doesn't make any sense dude the second worst person in dms is somebody who sends you an auto message let me finish and they say hey you know check out my youtube channel i would love if you could you know just watch a video subscribe whatever fine fine I know a lot of people hate messages like that I personally don't mind them I know that I have an auto message myself uh, and I don't hate those messages however when they send me those messages and I look at them there's no link there's no link to their YouTube channel and then I click on their profile right there's no link in their bio I shoot them a message I'm like can you send me the link and they hit me back no joke how do I do that what do you mean how do you do that bro how, what do you mean how you do just copy the link dude what are you talking about how do you not know how to send me the link to your channel i'm not gonna check your channel out if you don't know what the url of a video is like you obviously don't know anything about computers if you can't copy and paste the link to your channel and if you don't know anything about computers i'm sure that your editing is not gonna be very good so you just lose all credibility by just not providing your link you should have the link to your channel in the auto message or in the bio of your of your like profile obviously uh, because people can't find you and I'm not gonna go look for your channel that's the other thing too if I say hey can you send me the link and they just say oh type in MLG uh, quick scoper um, phase dope boy or something and I'm, I just made that up so if that's an actual person I'm sorry I'm not gonna go look for you dude I'm not gonna get your auto message look through your look through your Twitter look through your DM and be like okay I can't find a link can't find a link shoot you a message back and at this point I've already wasted like a minute of my time trying to find your link and then sending you a message and then then you tell me to look you up like oh okay yeah let me close Twitter go to the YouTube app and try and find this random channel that has like eight subscribers like I'm sorry but I'm not gonna do that and I know it sounds like you're not asking for a lot like it's oh you know it's only like a minute of your time yeah yeah. but if I did that for everybody that sent me one of these fucking messages I'd be on Twitter for an extra two hours just trying to find random people with eight subscribers like if you want to get noticed 
send me the link as soon as the auto message goes out and I'm done talking about these guys. The third most annoying DM is another auto message and then this time instead of you know sending me the link to the channel or whatever it basically starts off the whole thing is caps first off the whole auto message is in caps and it's like hey thanks for subscribing bro if you want g fuel you can use code blah 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 for 10 percent off and here's if you want to scuff uh gaming thing here's your, my code for blah 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 and if you want to get jerky xp jerky here's my code for this and if you want to get a cinch gaming controller here's my code for this and if you want to get some uh, grips for your thing here's my code are you serious dude the first thing you're gonna tell me is go buy stuff how about build a relationship with the people that follow you on Twitter first and then ask them to spend money on products? The first, if the first thing you do is give me your discount code to some random ass thing I've never heard before, you're just money hungry. That's all you are. You're just doing it for the money. You just, you're just hoping that if you send out a thousand auto messages a day, one person's going to be like, oh, I've never heard of Cinch before. Yeah, I'll go buy a controller and get 10% off. You're obviously money hungry and it looks so unprofessional and it looks so stupid uh, to immediately hit me with six discount codes uh, and then the link to you know your fucking clan page and they have discount codes and it's like dude I'm not gonna buy a hundred dollar controller using your discount code because you have 14 subscribers like cool it's cool that you have one but don't don't make that the first thing you tell me because then I don't I, I feel disrespected like put some respect on my name you know the fourth person I want to talk about, and I've only seen a couple of these, but I it blew my mind when I got these messages. Their auto message asks for donations for nothing. Like, I've gotten a message before that was like, hey, you know, if you uh, if you want to donate like a 25 cents to my PayPal, that'd be really awesome. Who the fuck are you, dude? What? You're just begging for money? You're just, what is this like? What is like the virtual street corner? You're just like panhandling on Twitter? Like... That makes no sense. The, the first thing you you to ask me for is money? A random stranger on the internet? Ugh, gross. Don't beg for money on Twitter, dude. That's disgusting. And like, okay, I'm sure maybe. Let me just, from their perspective, maybe they're really poor, okay, right? Maybe they're really poor. Maybe their family's struggling you know whatever first off it's not gonna work and second off if it does work it's gonna work for like five people and then okay you got a dollar so your problem is not solved so you're basically just an obnoxious person on twitter for absolutely no gain so what what were you looking to accomplish and that's not the only person either i've asked people i've seen dms saying like oh can you donate a dollar to you know here's my paypal like <laughs> off dude donate a dollar what do you do what are you doing for me like why would i give a random person a dollar yeah yeah let me just give you a dollar like a fucking off and the fifth type of person that sends obnoxious dms are the porn people yeah you heard me right I get messages all the time of people saying, you know, and, and this is the funny part, right? It's a picture of maybe an attractive girl with like huge cleavage or just like a girl with like bent over with her ass just in her profile picture. You know for sure that's not who's running the account. That's just some random picture that they pulled off the internet or some porn website or something. Uh, and then like the bio is like, if you want to have a good time, I'm looking for hot singles. Come watch me play with myself on my live webcam show and then it's a link to some fucking virus thing or whatever and like you know right that this is not real obviously the person in the in the thing is not real and obviously the person in the icon is not what you're gonna see if you click on those links so it's basically just this huge like porn scam basically and the dms for these people are just a dm saying hey cutie pie like double pink heart emoji if you're bored you can come chat with me at www you know live dash sex cam dash this is a virus.com what you are like the worst kind of marketer i know you're probably some fucking guy who thinks he's so slick and that he runs like this super awesome online promoting company and you have like 400 of these same fucking accounts and they all do the same shit just with a different girl's boobs in the icon but like are you serious dude this is what you do you spent all your time making all those accounts and you spent all your time setting up the auto message and the amount of accounts that you probably have you probably had to pay for some auto 
Twitter management software. And like, those are fine if you use them for legitimate purposes, but you went through all of this effort just to like spam me this clearly virus link or something that will, you know, install malicious software on my computer. That's just going to steal my credit card information. Like that's so annoying. And the fact that you just exploit like these women in your profile pictures, just so people will like glance for half a second more at your message is just disgusting. And I absolutely hate those types of people. And I wish I never, I hope I never get another DM like that again. But as I'm making this video, I'm sure someone has sent me some sort of auto message and there's like a 90% chance it's going to be one of the five people that I've talked about in this video. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. I would really appreciate that. If you're new around here, you, you can subscribe to my channel down below or wherever the subscribe button is if you're on mobile. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Drop a comment down below telling me if you've experienced any of these annoying auto messages or DMs or whatever. Or, and if it's not one of these tell me what the most annoying dms you've gotten are in the comment section below i see read and respond to almost everybody um so yeah and if you're new to this channel if you're new around here you can find all my other social media links in the description below as well you can follow me on twitter where you can send me annoying dms you can follow me on instagram snapchat facebook page anything so go down in the description below follow me wherever you feel like and hopefully you enjoy the video and that's about it so thanks for watching guys this has been omniarch and i will talk to you later Peace.